What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to understand claudication so that you can treat your patients appropriately. And also pass the NPTE. Claudication means narrowing, and there are two main types. Neurogenic and vascular or intermittent. And they kind of clue you in as to the origin. Vascular claudication can happen with things like peripheral artery disease, where the arteries become narrowed, uh, whether through the vessels themselves or by having the insides be clogged, and that decreases the blood supply to muscles and other tissues causing ischemia. This tends to cause unilateral leg pain extending distally from wherever the blockage is. Activities like walking uphill or any kind of exercising is going to increase the tissue's demand for oxygen, which is going to make that ischemia and that pain worse with people that have this vascular claudication. It'll start with just intense exercise, but it'll eventually progress to having pain all the time and having arterial signs like trophic changes and wounds. For treatment, you want these patients to do low intensity, long duration exercise, like walking on a treadmill. And you want them to keep going until their pain reaches about a five or six out of 10. Other options can include stopping smoking, controlling other comorbidities like diabetes or hypertension, and possibly vascular surgeries. Neurogenic claudication can happen with conditions like spinal stenosis, where a decreased foraminal space can pinch on a nerve. This can cause pain in both or just one leg, usually extending from the back distally along the posterior leg. The pain is also very affected by position, so anything where the back is in more extension, like standing, uh, walking, is going to cause a little bit more pain because that naturally decreases the foraminal space. Conversely, things like walking uphill or pushing a shopping cart will help decrease that pain. These patients can also have neural signs like paresthesias or cramping. For treatment, you want to help strengthen them in a position of comfort, so somewhere where the back's in a little bit more flexed position. You can also do neural flossing for mobility, and then medications as well as surgeries like decompressions or fusions are always an option if the exercise doesn't pan out. Now it's time for NPTE Jeopardy! Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Low intensity exercise will help get blood to the area without damaging the tissues if the pain is rated this low. Continuing may help expand the vessels and decrease the claudication over time. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy, or you can drop me a comment with questions or suggestions for videos I should do in the future. Otherwise, good luck studying. Go change the world.